In today's video, we are going to talk about my review of the school year, this past school year, the good, the bad, the ugly, and learn from my mistakes, hopefully, and take the things that I really love. And then we will also talk about the things that I'm doing this summer for my family, our summer plans really quickly, and maybe even show you a little bit of the update of our remodel. Yes, it's done. I'm so excited. And if you're new here, welcome. My name is Jana Browning. I'm a homeschool mom of eight kids and I'm on the last two. So if this homeschool channel is of interest to you, please think about subscribing. Okay, so let's talk about my favorite things that I had for my school year. And I'm so glad that they happened. The first one is this, that I set a specific place for my school to happen. Now, because we were remodeling and because it was crazy, we had to set apart our school stuff because we had a lot of things in boxes. I had to move everything out of certain places. And then we had to bring a lot of our stuff upstairs where we usually do school. And so it was just like crowded. So what I did is I set it aside and I made a specific spot for our school. So it really helped with doing school and making it happen. That's one thing that I really loved about it. Now, however, there was a couple of times where we got kicked out of that spot even because um, we had to do painting in there. And so, but most of the year we had a specific spot for our school and that made our school happen. So the second thing that I really enjoyed that about our, home, our school is that I kind of had to go minimalistic on the curriculum this year because a lot of our stuff was packed away and I don't know, I didn't plan well, but it got packed away. And so I had to kind of, I had the basics of our curriculum, but good thing is, is I just had to kind of come up with other things. And it's amazing what happened. Like, of course we had math and we had history and we had geography, but they were very minimalistic. And that was very nice. In fact, I think I'm gonna go through my stuff this year and really just, you know, declutter a lot of stuff. That's what I'm gonna do. Everywhere I go, it is so noisy. Now, the air conditioner just kicked on. I don't know why it kicked on. It's Idaho. We don't really have that hot of weather. The third thing that I really enjoyed about our homeschool, and I'm just gonna have to say it again, but I love teaching textbooks. Now, don't worry, I'm not, I don't have anything, I don't make any money when I say that with teaching textbooks, but I just have to tell you that it just made things so easy as we got kind of kicked out of that one place or sometimes we would have to go downstairs and do our school for a week. My daughter could take our iPad and then she could just get her math on the iPad and it was just, it was awesome and it made it happen. That's what I love. When things are chaotic and you don't know from you know week to week how things are going to go because of whatever life event you're doing, it's just so important to have that kind of curriculum. So the curriculum that I did have, since we were minimalistic, is the kind that were subscription-based, like the teaching textbooks. And um, my son also uses the teaching textbooks for his algebra the, and geometry that he finished this year. Okay, so that was awesome. And also having things like iPads, like tablets. Uh, those kind of tools were awesome when you have crazy life, and, but you still wanna get your homeschool done. And the last thing that I really enjoyed and was glad that we did this year was our co-op. Now, because we did a minimalistic type of curriculum this year and things were in their boxes and I couldn't find them and it was a crazy life, the co-op that we uh, were a part of for the full year really kind of filled in all the gaps and all the holes that my life, our life created with this remodel. So that was awesome. And it was a place that my children were, be, were able to get, you know, extra stuff that I just couldn't provide this year. Now that's not how it always is, but it was just really nice to have that. Overall, the summary is for the positive this year is if you're having a crazy year for your homeschool, it's okay to have minimalistic kind of curriculum. It's okay to let other people, co-ops, help you fill in the gaps. It's okay to use online different types of curriculum that are simple to use and that you can take anywhere. 
and it's okay that your space is um, a little bit different than what you usually have because all those things taught me this year that guess what I can still homeschool I still can even if life is crazy with all those kind of things that I did this year it worked out great Okay, now let's talk about the things that didn't go so well. And this really, this camera is very, very like crooked. I think it's because I'm on a hill. So the first thing is that we didn't really have a very good morning devotional. Now what morning devotional to me is it's kind of like people's morning basket. That really started out in the very beginning of the school year and then it just petered out real quick. Uh, it would probably only lasted a couple months that we did it and then just the rest of the year because everything was so crazy and that's okay. I want you to know that when these some of these little things that you you know like to do and they don't happen in the scale of everything just just keep it in perspective because they're important I love doing more my morning devotional but in the scope of things it's not really that that important okay so you just kind of have to let go of some things okay and then the second thing that I didn't do very well uh, were the the papers the schedules that I make out for my kids Again, I started out really good. I mean, I, I'm going strong at the beginning, right? Because I planned all summer and I got them all together because I knew that we were still in the remodel and that we needed to have something organized to make things sure that things happen. I got through the first like semester pretty good. Sometimes I didn't get them out, but um, then the last part, not at all. So what these are is just, I write down my kids' schedule for the week of the things that they need to do we go over it on, like usually on Monday or on Friday for the next week and we just plan out their week of everything that they're gonna do and that's their school schedule and it just didn't happen this year Ooh. so next year next year I'm gonna be on top of it because those really help they really help me they make it easier on me um, there used to be a time when I homeschooled and I had a, so many things that I was doing and I made sure that these happened and it was so organized and it just was it just worked beautifully it just went smooth smooth sailing so that was one reason that I think this year was a little more difficult and things didn't happen is because I didn't have those schedules done okay and then another thing that didn't happen is so important to my homeschool and I have done them forever is my mentor meetings everything starts out wonderful everything is you know just honky-dory in September October and then November and then December and then it just is hard to get back up at least this year it was what a mentor meeting is is where I just meet individually with my children and when they're in middle school and high school I always meet with them weekly and we talk about the things that are to go and that's where that schedule comes in and we go over the schedule and we talk about the things that they're struggling with they talk about the things that they're doing well and I just check in it's like a check-in for mom and my student now my younger kids when they're in elementary school I just usually do maybe once every other week if I'm really good or for sure once a month my uh, little kids are always around me during the elementary age ages because I'm at a table with them we're always talking we're always doing this so the uh, mentor meetings are really for those kids that are kind of more independent learners like my high schoolers and junior high school kids don't really need it as much for the smaller younger children and the last thing I want to talk about is that we did not get out and about like I really wanted to this year some of it was having to do with COVID you know places were still not 
opened as much. People were still worried. And so we didn't get out as much. You know, I like to take field trips. I like to go to the library, but um, it just didn't happen. And this year, <laughs> this year, I'm going to do it. This year, we're going to go on places. We're going to go on field trips. We're going to really get it to a good place this year, this next year. Now, those things that I missed out on, you know, all the things I talked about that I didn't do well, it, it was okay for this one year to kind of not have them, but I wouldn't want to miss all of those over and over and over again. I really want to change that up and my craziness with my house is over. And so I think it's going to be a lot better this year that where those things are going to happen. Yay. Sometimes we have bad years. Sometimes we just have things that go on that we just can't control and it's okay. And don't stop homeschooling just because of that, because it will get better. I promise you it will get better. And this year is going to get better. I'm so excited. I'm just so thrilled. Now, for the summertime, we are going to have a lot of exciting things happen. First off, the most exciting of all is I've got two grandbabies coming. Yes. And so that is really, the tr that's what trumps everything, really. Because i got to stay around. i got to be here for them. You know, in the summertime for homeschooling, we just, it just depends on the year. So, as I've talked about this whole video, we've really struggled with some of the things in our homeschooling because of this remodel. And so this year in the summer, my daughter will probably continue her math and some spelling and a little bit of reading. And then my son just kind of, he got everything done. So he's kind of done. I have a video about things you can do in the summer to disguise your school and make it think like fun things and games. So check that video out if you want some more summer ideas. If you're kind of stuck at home and you're not really going anywhere. Because you know homeschoolers, I don't think it's a great thing to go out when everybody else is vacationing. We like to do that when everybody else is in school. You know what I'm saying? The next thing is we're just going to do, um, you know, the usual go to trips here, day trips there. We're gonna go to the cabin for a couple days. We're gonna have, we have a, a family reunion where my family's coming up to Idaho. I have to go to girls camp because I'm in, kind of in charge of some things for girls camp with our church. I'm also gonna be doing lots of preparing for school year, next school year. That's what I do during the summer. And then of course I'm gonna do lots of videos, so check those out. And gardening, lots of gardening. Oof, I got a lot to do, my goodness. Yeah, the summertime is always packed for homeschool moms. And as I think about it, make sure you homeschool moms enjoy your summer. Don't stress too much about getting everything perfect for school. Yes, get it prepared, get it ready, but don't stress because summertime is the best. Don't, you know, sacrifice the time with your family just because you want to be getting your homeschool ready. What are you doing for your summer? Put those in the comments below. I love to see what other people are doing for the summer and I am so excited for the summer. Lots of things to do. Okay, the sunset is hitting. I've talked a lot, so, but if you want more videos, please watch the ones next. I think they're helpful and I will be dropping a lot of videos this summer, so please subscribe and hit the notification button so that you know when my videos are dropping which they're gonna be dropping a lot this summer thanks for watching we'll see you again toodles you were my best friend didn't care about those good on the weekends